Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family, Ozzie, Harriet, David, and Ricky. Here is Ozzie, who plays the part of Ozzie Nelson. And of course, his lovely wife, Harriet, as Harriet Nelson. The older of the Nelson boys, David, appears as David Nelson. And his younger brother, the irrepressible Ricky, played by Ricky Nelson. The Nelson's next door neighbor, Thorny, is played by Don DeFore. Banquet? I'm just finishing off some cake. How's the PTA meeting? Oh, it went fine, thanks, Dave. They elected your old dad chairman of the setup committee. Oh, swell. Yeah, neat. What is it? Uh, well, it means I'm in full charge of setting up all the tables and chairs for the annual card party. Oh, sounds pretty important. Sounds like a lot of work to me. <laughs> well, how many guys you got under you? Uh, uh, well, I'm allowed to select an assistant to, to help me move all the chairs. Well, what do you have in the package, Pop? Oh, oh, uh, this is just a little surprise I bought for your mother and you guys. Oh, terrific. Can we see it now? Uh, well, why don't we wait till your mother comes down and we'll all look at it together. It looks like pretty good cake there. Yeah, Mom baked it this morning. It's supposed to be for dinner, but we're just sort of sampling it now. Oh. We don't want our dinner to spoil our appetites. <laughs> you want to buy, Pop? Uh, no thanks, Dave. I mean, dinner will be in oh, a couple of hours, so I think I'll take a whole slice. <laughs> well, I see my work's being appreciated down here. Oh, hi. Yeah, this sure is a good cake, Mom. Yeah, it sure is. In fact, one more piece to convince me. Oh, no, sir. No more till dinner time now. Well, how'd the meeting go? Oh, it went Pop got elected chairman of a committee. Yeah, yeah, and he bought us a surprise, too. Well, how wonderful. What's oh. the surprise? Oh, well, don't you want to hear about the committee I was like the chairman of? Well, of course I do. What's the surprise? Uh, oh, uh, well, uh, you know, the boys are getting older, and we don't have many pictures of them. We, we need new ones. I sure wish we'd get rid of that corny picture of me on the bear rug. Bear. <laughs> you bought us some film for our camera? Uh, well, uh, no, uh, not exactly. Uh, you know how old uh, our camera is. Well, it's not so old. Uh, well, uh, I know, but this clerk suggested that uh, I try one of the new models. Well, Ozzie, our old camera takes very nice pictures. Well, I, I know, but uh, this new model is so much easier to use. How much? Oh, considerably. No, I mean how much. <laughs> oh, 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 the price of it. Well, uh, uh, only uh, three ninety-eight. It's a genuine mighty elf, too. Oh, well, I suppose for that price, you couldn't go wrong. Well, exactly. Uh, especially when you can get two of them for six fifty. You mean you bought two of them? No, uh, uh, not exactly. Oh, well, I should hope not. Uh, no, uh, I bought four of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I figured it'd be a, a good idea. You see, in this way, nobody would be using somebody else's camera. That's right, Mom. I could take a picture of David, taking a picture of you, taking a picture of Pop, taking a picture of me. <laughs> let's see the cameras, Pop. Yeah, let's see them, Pop. Okay. Hey, look hey, at them. they're neat. Aren't they, though? There's one for you, Dave. Thanks, Pop. One for Rick. Thanks, Pop. They are cute. Yeah, I think so. They take good pictures, too. I saw some of them down at the store. Easy to operate. Oh, and the man gave us this carrying case, free of charge. One carrying case for all four cameras? Uh, well, it's sort of a, a family special. He gave us a gold key for each member of the family. Oh, yeah. Come on, David, let's take some pictures. Wait a minute, don't go too far now, fellas. Oh, no, Pa, we're just going to take some candid shots around the neighborhood. Thanks a lot for the cameras. Yeah, thanks a lot, Pa. Okay, boys. Well, tell me about the committee. Uh, oh, oh, well, it, it's nothing really important. Uh, you know, the PTA is going to give a charity card party. And they've elected me chairman of the setup committee, you know, in charge of setting up the chairs and, and tables. That sounds like a lot of heavy work. Uh, well, yes, it does at first. But, uh, see, I'm going to entice a few of my good friends into doing the muscle work. I'm just going to sort of uh, direct the proceedings, so to speak. In fact, I think I'll see if I can inveigle my good friend and neighbor, Mr. Thornberry, into doing some work for a change. That may not be as easy as you think. You no, know, I'll talk him into it. Right now, I've talked myself into a piece of this chocolate cake. Uh, would you like a slice? Oh, no, thank you. I've decided to go on a diet for a couple of weeks. I've taken on a few pounds recently. Incidentally, so have you. Well, 
One slice of cake, more or less, isn't going to make any difference. You, you sure you don't want just a thin slice? No, no, thanks. I've got enough willpower. Are you suggesting I don't have? I'm not suggesting anything. Chubby. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Since you're so smart, I'll tell you what I'll do. You're going on a diet for two weeks. I'll go on a diet with you. I'll make an agreement. Neither one of us eats any cake, candy, ice cream, any sweets of any sort for two weeks. Good. It's a deal. It's a deal. And don't forget either. <laughs> The return of the Ice Age. <laughs> no, that's not that big. Uh, wh what did they put in it? It was a sort of a sampler, Oz. As a little of everything they could find. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, uh, say, did you hear that I was elected the chairman of the setup committee for the PTA? Well, congratulations. It's quite a responsibility. Oh, well, <laughs> thanks a lot. It, it, it's nothing big, but like everything else, it needs a director. Sort of brains to supervise the brawn, so to speak. Uh, just a second, Oz. Now, maybe I've got this wrong, but I thought the setup committee was just a fancy name for those guys who lug up the tables and chairs and set them up. Well, uh, that's a rather crude way of putting it. Not as I say, there is a certain amount of physical work involved. But, well, frankly, I was counting on a few of my good friends to, to help me out. It is for a very worthy cause, you know. Well, Oz, speaking of good friends, do uh, you consider me one of your good friends? Well, naturally, Thorny. Oz, I want you to know that I consider you one of my good friends. Oh, gee, thanks a lot. I, I, I knew I could count on you. That's why I insisted you let me buy you one of these frozen passions. <laughs> oh, uh, well, uh, uh, thanks a, a lot, Thorny, but uh, I, I can't. Uh, not now. Harriet and I made a little agreement. Nonsense, Oz. You're a friend of mine, aren't you? Well, of course I, I'm a friend of yours, but see, Harriet and I have made this little agreement uh, whereby neither of us is going to eat anything between meals for two weeks, uh, a sweet stuff especially. Well, Oz, that's downright insulting. I'm your best friend. I'm trying to treat you. Why, well, they'd shoot a man for this in the Old West. Oh, yes. <laughs> I know. Well, that isn't the point, Thorny. Uh, look, uh, getting back to this question of committee, I mean this uh, question of uh, friendship. Hmm... Look, Oz, why don't you break down and have one? I won't tell. No, it isn't that, Thorny. That, that wouldn't be fair to Harriet. After all, we made a, an agreement. So, wait a minute, Oz. I just thought of something. When did this agreement of yours start? Say, uh, Thorny, uh, that's an idea. I, I just assumed that it started t today. It could very well start tomorrow morning. We didn't make any definite starting time. Margaret, bring another one of these frozen passions for my friend Mr. Nelson. And put it on my check. Oh, <laughs> Gee, this is certainly very nice of you, Thorny. These uh, frozen passions aren't exactly cheap, you know. No, I know. Here you are, gentlemen. Oh, gee, thanks. Boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> checks on me, Oz. Oh, Thorny, well, at least let me pay for my own. Oz, I wouldn't think of it. Just dive in and enjoy yourself. Awful oh, nice. I, I, I should pay for my own, though, but... Uh, well, I... Wow. Holy mackerel, I gotta be running along. I'll see you later. <laughs> Rick. 
quite a coincidence. I was looking for you, too. Uh, oh, you wouldn't kid me now, would you? Oh, heck, I wouldn't kid you for the world, Pa. Oh, <laughs> well, that's very comforting. Did you get any pictures taken with your new camera? Yes, sir. I got some real crazy underwater shots. Underwater? You must be the one who's crazy. They'll never come out. Oh, sure they will. They're real neat action shots. Uh, action shots of what? Iggy Schwartz's goldfish. His goldfish? Wait a minute, now, you didn't put this camera in the water, did you? Oh, heck no, Pop. It wouldn't fit in the fishbowl. No. Oh. <laughs> well, that's good. Did you get any of the pictures developed? Yes, sir. I got one here that ought to hand you and Mom a laugh. Oh. Uh, Harriet? Your mother's upstairs. Harriet! Yes, dear? It isn't very good. Oh. See, it's you down at the drugstore, eating it... a great big dish of ice cream. <laughs> yes, so I see. Uh, Harriet! Harriet? Yes, dear? Never mind my calling you. Stay right where you are. I guess it isn't very good, huh, Pa? Uh, no. On, on the, the contrary, Rick, this is a, an excellent picture. Gee, uh, I, I don't remember your being down at the drugstore, though. I, I didn't see you. Yeah, I know. Pretty sneaky, huh, Pa? Uh, yeah. The lights weren't very good. That's why it's a little fuzzy. Oh, yes, it is sort of fuzzy, isn't it? All except my face and the huge dish of ice cream. They're just as clear as crystal. <laughs> Say, you know something, son? This is a picture I think I'd like to have for my very own. Oh, Pop, why don't you wait till I get a better one? Uh, well, uh, you may not get a chance. Uh, look, I, I think I'd like to have this for my wallet. Oh, heck, I just thought I'd show it to you and Mom for a laugh, then throw it away. Uh, well, uh, uh, here's the laugh. <laughs> and I'll have about 25 cents. 25 cents? Uh, yeah, yes, uh, for the picture. I'll buy the picture uh, from you for, for 25 cents. Oh, heck, Pop. No, 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 okay, 35 cents, but that's my final offer. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, 50 cents, but this is the most I'll go. 50 cents and I'll keep the picture. How about it? Okay, Pop. But I think you're making a mistake. Well, yes, I, I, I made the mistake. I'm not going to make it again. <laughs> Sandy's Mall Shop and get a Moron's Delight. Uh, get one at the drugstore. They give you more whipped cream. <laughs> Hi, Pop. Oh, oh, uh, hello, son. Uh, uh, where have you been? Down the drugstore. Uh, uh, with your camera? Yes, sir. You can get some pretty good shots down there. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I, I've observed. I mean, next time I think I'll get down behind the counter. Get some better angles that way. Yeah, oh, uh, then you took some pictures, huh? And just a couple. The one of you didn't turn out so hot, though. Uh, oh, you, you took a picture of me? Yes, sir. I was just going to show it to you and Mom and then throw it away. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, Mom! Yeah, <laughs> Mother, uh, uh, come over here and sit down for a minute, son. Don't you want to see the picture, Pop? Well, uh, yes, yes, but I don't want to disturb your mother. Uh, she's sitting right upstairs with those big ears. Of, not my big ears, I mean... Uh, uh, just let me see it, son. That's you there, eating ice cream. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, uh, I, I know, David. I mean, it's a little fuzzy. It's not really very good. I'd kind of like to have this picture, Dave. Oh, it's so small, Pop. It's not good for framing. No, I have to disagree with you there, son. I think this is an excellent picture for framing. For, uh, uh, framing. <laughs> uh, and I'd like to buy it from you. Oh, Pop, it's not a good picture. Oh, I'd kind of like to have it for uh, sentimental reasons. Tell you what I'll do, son. I'll give you 35 cents for it. Uh, how much did Ricky get? <laughs> okay, I'll give you 50 cents. Here. Thanks, Bob. News certainly travels. <laughs> I wonder why more people don't take up this camera stuff as a hobby. Yes, it is very interesting. Yeah, and the pay is good, too. <laughs> okay, bye, son. Well, glad to find you here alone. I have a little business to talk over with you. What kind of business? Well, to put it bluntly, blackmail. <laughs> That's right, Oz. You see, I've come into the possession of a certain picture through my underworld connections that I think you'll be very interested in. Okay, let me see. There you are. <laughs> well, outside of the fact that it isn't a very flattering picture of me, I don't see what's so damaging about it. Don't see anything damaging. 
What about the little agreement between you and Harriet? That doesn't start until tomorrow morning, and you know it. Yes, but does Harriet know it? <laughs> well, we haven't talked about it specifically, but I'm sure it's okay with her. Well, I guess it'll matter if I show her the picture. Harriet! <laughs> Say, uh, I'm sure it won't make any difference to Harriet, but I will admit that the picture does have a certain nuisance value. So, uh, how much do you want for it? Oh, Oz, it won't cost you a cent. I'm not the type of fellow who tries to profit on human frailties. I just want you to promise that you won't rope me in on that muscle committee for the PTA card party. Oh, now, now, wait a minute, Thorny. You're a member of the PTA, and it's up to you to do your share of the work. Well, Oz, I'm willing to do my share. That is, provided it's something I'm suited for. Now, it just so happens that I have great executive ability. I'm always happy to do any kind of work in that capacity. As you say, there's the brain and there's also the brawn. And I suppose you represent the brain? Oh, well, naturally. I just think you've seen a good example of my cleverness. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll be very happy to set up the tables and chairs if you'll help me. Come on, what do you say, Thorny? Look, maybe we can coax a couple other slob, uh, a couple of other <laughs> friends into helping, too. Come on, huh? Okay, Oz. Uh, uh, but under the circumstances, I think it's only fair that you reimburse me for the frozen passion I bought for you today. <laughs> I tell you what I'll do. After the two weeks, I'll buy you a super deluxe frozen passion. <laughs> but you help me with the chairs and tables. That's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> You're sure a tough guy to take advantage of, boy. <laughs> oh, that, 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 just a second, Thorny. Uh, it isn't that I don't trust you, and I know you have the negative in your vault. <laughs> oh, say, a veritable windfall. <laughs> How about these? Oh, here you are. Hi. I wonder where you were. I just thought I'd have a fish cake and a cup of tea. Would you like fish cake? Oh, uh, no, thanks. I I'm trying... Uh... Well, Harriet... Something wrong? Well, uh, yes. I, I thought we had an agreement not to eat any sweets between meals. Oh, we have, but that doesn't start until tomorrow. Are you sure you want to have some cake? Oh, oh, well, yeah, I, I guess I'll have just a, a little... Uh, Here, uh, take mine. No, that's okay. I'll just take this and eat it the old-fashioned way. Mmm. Something wrong? <laughs> Maybe I'm getting absent-minded or something, but... You know, I thought our agreement started today. Well, so did I, but evidently we were wrong. Why, what do you mean? Well, I was sitting in the drugstore today having a cup of tea and a piece of rye crisp, and I heard a man in the next booth say that it didn't start until tomorrow. It was a very interesting conversation. You say uh, this was uh, down at the drugstore? Mm-hmm. Yes, he was sitting with another man, and each of them was eating a huge dish of ice cream. Uh, could you uh, describe this man? Oh, I can do better than that. Here, I took a picture of him. <laughs> Uh, well, I'll be right back. I figure it's about time I went down and bought myself a photograph album. <laughs> I'll get it. Hello? Who is it? Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Miller. Uh, Mr. Miller from the drugstore. Oh, well, yes, we did. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I thought he was... Well, uh, I'll, I'll take care of it right away. That gosh darn Thornberry. What's the matter? Well, he makes a big deal out of treating me to a frozen passion Sunday yesterday and then walks out of the drugstore without paying the check. 